Tricer, Asmodan, and Uther. So on paper they have got more damage, so we're going to primarily follow me. And then when I'm not doing anything interesting, which I always am, we'll look and see what else is going on. So, there's the blinks, the shots, enemy Muradin comes in. And Uther comes to back me, A lot of auto attack damage here. That's, that's basically Tracer. You've got the blink, or positional, you've got recall to get out of dodge, and later on to heal as well. So playing a little cautious at the start of the game. Oh, and that melee, the melee attack as well. <coughs> Blink in, hit W, I do start doing that later on as I get the feel for the character. Jump in, hit W, hit with you. Hit with your melee attack. Grab the fountain, reload, done, reload, there we go. No mana system on Tracer. Uh, it's just got a sort of an ammo reload mechanic. It will reload automatically uh, when you empty the clip, or you can press B to reload at a half clip, like I was just then. There we go, first kill of the game. Who technically picked that up? Uh, uh, Uther. No. Me! Hooray, I, I am winner. Later on in the game that I realise you can use blink and recall to reload your clip a little quicker. So I think we'll see that later on. Also, despite the fact I have a mount as well, which is quicker, it's quicker than a quicker than a ball. At the very least, I do find myself running around sort of blinking a lot. Did not stick them. Talents so far. Okay, so treasure ends, basic attacks reveal enemies. Probably shouldn't have picked that. Actually, have no idea why I picked that. There's no invisible on the team. Untouchable tech dance increase your basic attack damage by 2% up to 30%. These bonuses are lost on death. That's what gives out a health up more health regen. Okay. Where am I? Many jukes were heard. Cracking up. Got a tap damage, also another bad pulse bomb. Do get better at those throughout the game. <coughs> I mean, at her core, she is very much just an auto attack hero, so there's... It's very sticky, her auto attack and moving is pretty useful. As it's filling up her sort of ult charge, which unfortunately I can't see. that many 
money in this game. I'm kind of proud of myself for that. However, they have added a new matchmaking, so if you're trying a new hero, you'll go against like slightly easier matches, I think, MMR wise. Uh, just to. I mean, we'll see as. as we play more games, but maybe I'm not as good as I think I am. Which is saying something, because I'm probably. I'm by no means the best player at the moment. At the moment, as if I'm gonna get better all of a sudden. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Falls, heroes. How I love to see my garden in the moon's glow. There was that melee attack, I'm not sure if you caught that time. There's a good play. We hit him. Her even, that was try to. Terrors blooming get a quite big push in it. <coughs> Memory says as do they. Don't know why I was holding back, but we are uh, we going in there. There was that my life back on. I'll be back here, so, so let's let's see what's going on on the map. As we we basically drive our knights all the way up here, and I believe they actually get this. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't get it for a while. There's that melee attack. Gives it a lot of pulse energy. One thing. We can talk about that because I've got the talent now. Let's bring it up. Pulse rounds. Increase pulse bombs range. I do like the extra range. And charge rate from basic attacks against heroes by 150%. I find I was getting pulse bombs far too quickly and not using them as often as I should. Like, I, I'd like save it. Whereas I could probably have dealt. Like used it on minions because they fill up really quick. However, another talent in that tier. Oh no, what have I done? Don't seek. Oh, and 
the talent in that tier? Where is that tier? Where am I? Show talents. Okay, I can't show talents. There's one that uh, gives it an AoE slow. It increases the radius. I think that would also probably be quite useful. Building up quite a lot of those extra 2% bonus attack damages and bonus attack, auto attack bonus damage. And when you attack, attack as quick as Tracer does, it adds up pretty quick. Now, are we going to defend or where are we going to go? I think we go to kill B. Listen. There's his stick stuck in there. Because that's where the slope will be useful so we can catch up easier. Alright, it's a two for one, I go to def By virtue of where I'm going, I do defend. There's Thraldon. Very squishy though. Not a huge fan of going in on that hammer. I'm too brave or foolish to retreat. There's death number two. And I think one more comes. Spoilers, by the way. Yeah, so what's going on? Going on there's still it's still night mode, still the night phase. Enemy tracer just sort of whipping down the hacker there. Here's a bad recall that we see, and she recalls into the pump. She gets killed. Which I imagine is actually quite easy. Meridin will get away because Meridin is quite durable, so we go to take Solemn. I decide, fuck that, I don't need to do mechanics by the map because I'm that guy. Red Team's core is under attack. I'm going to defend the core. That's what I do. Another night. How wonderful to you. Blue team's core is under attack. We got minions pushing the core. At some point, we got the core. I heat the core to mid. Got him with the pulse bomb. Awfully proud of myself at the stage, and I peel off from the push to just chase down this dude. Another pulse bomb, uh, not too long after the first pulse bomb that I killed that side of the panel with.
before going to join my buddies. At this point I am doing a lot of bonus type damage. I, I think I'm hitting for almost a hundred per attack. Oh, no, there I am. Probably full spawn to help this out. Not That minions. Hero slain. Hero slain. The night comes, heroes. Remember, kill the shadows and claim their secrets. Blue team's call is under I thought she could chase me out, but she's wrong. And I decided once I got that hill not to back. Instead I'm gonna go fight. And here's where I start jungling. The solo level 21 tracer, super squishy. But no, is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Recall to avoid the stone throw. And we did it. Much success. And let's just have a here, I want this. This po point I'm sitting at 6-5. But I'm by far leading the hero damage. No, that's the other dude. That's not me. They're leading the hero damage. I'm sitting on 9-2 though. There we go. I keep thinking I'm blue team for some reason. So at this point I off memory because I'm not seeing this. I think I'm doing an extra 22% damage per auto attack. Take that snoople. Papa, no.
all them heroes, all them slains. There's the recall heal. Level 20 talent. So Asmodan did show up, I could have very easy one on one that. Bombs. As I said, slow would have been pretty good. Might try again with the slow. This is a cool one, bro. Oh. I'm already in, I think he gets caught out around about now. No, he gets away, that's what happens. Full spawn again. So at this point I feel pretty comfortable, my auto attacks are healing me from one of my talents. Um, I'm on a bit of a roll, and I still don't fully understand the character as best as I could. This is the very first game that I played, and I think I just put myself out of position a little bit. So, unsung hero of this game, this Uther is amazing. What's his name? Bacon Berries? No, I can't, I can't, ah. Oh. Can't read his name when he's walking around. Bacon berries indeed. Yeah, that's, oh, I got, I got killed at some point. Conveniently, bring in a tab so that you can't see me do a stupid. Let's look at the other tracer, what's she up to? Chessing down. Asmodan. It should be all well and good. Where did she recall that to? There we go. She could probably have won that if Uther hadn't shown up. Back into the fray here. Running on a horse. Too sure what she's doing, going after Uther. But some of you may recall from the Legion, not the Legion, the Hux Alpha. Uther, he just he just walks away. That's what he does. Here comes Dern. He's so cool. At this point doing less damage than early, because I've lost my stats of unstoppable or whatever, whatever it's called. Little scared to go in on that sergeant hammer, so instead let's just clear these up, which I do rare fairly quickly. Didn't take too long. the effect size here, leaving the sort of map mechanics to blue team. Triple kill. And another finishing with the melee attack. Let's get that quick charge up on the full spot. 
spawn. Blue team's core is under attack. Red team's core is under siege. It's fun noise. That's down. It's blinking around. Fun noise. Blue team's call is under siege. Nah, I think my infinite wisdom is sweet. Look to top. No, I don't, because they've come to me. Fair chunk of health, all things considered. Especially with the frequency that you can do it. That's all I need to get back into the fight. How oh, with that sergeant? I'm a death zone though. Very scary. I think this is the beginning of the end. Gotta of course kill Sergeant Cameron the front first of all. I'm like, my guys have got this, I just kill creeps. And there we go, that is my first game as Tracer. I really like her. Um, got her for, for pre ordering Overwatch. So that means there'll be another Tracer Tuesday when Overwatch access becomes made available to me. But until then, um, subscribe to me down below on the YouTubes or follow me on the Twitter. My uh, Twitter handle is the Dunderking, T H E D U N D N D A K I N G. I've, it's down there in the YouTube in the video description. So click on View More and you can copy and paste it there. To follow me on the Twitter to see when we're doing fun things. Uh, I do mean to start streaming again soon, but no promises as to when that is gonna start. But if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know. And yeah, what other cool stuff? Uh, yeah, just stay tuned to the channel. We've got the Azuna leveling, which is pretty fun. And though it's not going on my channel, I might as well plug it because I appear in it. Uh, we recorded, we being Necro and Pals, me being one of the Pals, recorded a bunch of the dungeons in uh, the Legion Alpha, finally. So you can check that over on Necro's channel. I assume if you're watching me here on YouTube, then you already know all about Necro, so... And I'm too lazy to get a link to his channel, so if you, you find that Necro, that's the test. If you can find him, you can watch the videos. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.